I used to not like Shy Lily. Wait, it's a terrible way to start this video. I never understood why people liked Shy Lily so much because every time I would ask someone about her, their response to me would be, all she ever does is react to things. Until one day I saw this clip of her and it changed my entire perspective on her success as a VTuber. If someone doesn't track as well as I do, I wanna guarantee you that 8 out of 10 times, no matter how big or small the person is that rigged and drew the art for the rig, the person <laughs> using the model is at fault. Because all they do is they sit like this in front of the screen with no Johnny emotions. Punk. I changed nothing, clearly. Literally just the way you use your model it changes so much Chat about the model Lydia. me sitting here with my adhd brain always goldfish blank staring at a screen you know she does kind of have a point one of Shia Lee's biggest tips to growing as a vtuber is being able to use your model efficiently and seeing that clip kind of clicked into my head that she actually knows what it is that she's doing and honestly she's actually pretty entertaining to watch why the hell did i not like her before like what was my problem back then and then I realized I didn't actually have a problem with Shy Lily. I thought I did, but that's only because the people I used to hang around with actually had a problem with Shy Lily. And they would constantly make fun of her and talk crap about her all the time. And so when you're around very negative influences, you start to behave just like them. And most of the times it just kind of got under my skin, so I just wouldn't really talk at all. And like, I just wouldn't even like acknowledge any of the conversations that were happening. Like, I don't think reaction content is necessarily a bad thing, and I don't think it's some cheap, easy way to grow. But from what I have seen other people comment on in regards to Shy Lily is that they think she doesn't make any actual content. And something about that has just always bothered me because if that were actually true, then why is she one of the biggest indie VTubers right now, hmm? Why does everyone like her so much? Hmm, there has to be a reason why. So I decided to do some research and here is what I found. Shy Lily is the perfect embodiment of how an anime girl would react to things, especially with her personality. And anyone who wants to dog on her content because it's mostly reaction content are only doing it because they're jealous that nobody wants to watch them react to things. I actually started watching more of Shia Lee's content and she's honestly really entertaining. She also has a lot of great advice on becoming a successful VTuber and she doesn't say it's because of luck, which makes me really happy because I'm so sick and tired of everybody saying that. She talks a lot about the skills you need to learn and how much of an investment VTubing really is if you want to become successful. How much did my VTuber model cost? And they cost about 8k. Yes, 8,000. You want that top quality model, you gotta pay them top quality dollars. That's just how it is. Look, I'm broke AF, so I gotta make a lot of my stuff by myself, but uh, she does bring up a good point about getting a higher quality model. However, I would like to point out that you can get a high quality model for a very low price by buying some pre-made models on either Booth, Kofi, or in Gumroad. As well as Nizima if you know how to navigate a Japanese website. But that's not what the focus of this video is about, so back to Shy Lily and why she's so successful. Another observation that I want to point out is that Shy Lily is really marketable. Take a look. You see that right there? That's marketable! And I'm not talking about the fact that it's her catchphrase, which yes, catchphrases can help, but what I'm actually talking about is that this catchphrase can be used in so many different memes because it has a lot of different meaning behind it. For example, if someone had something really weird happen to them, then another person could reply to that with a gift of shyly saying womp womp instead of saying, oh, well, that sucks. Look, if you really want to grow as a VTuber in the entertainment niche, then you really need to either be clippable or memeable. For whatever reason, it, that just does really well for the entertainment niche, but you can't just start spamming your own VTuber clips and memes, especially if they aren't very good or funny because, um, Here's the thing, humor in entertainment is so subjective, which means that you, what you might think is funny might not translate so well to like a very broad audience. It might do well in your niche community, like as an inside joke, but if an outsider were to see your stuff and can't figure out the context, then your joke or meme isn't going to be as effective because they just don't understand the point you're trying to make. What's crazy to think about is that I actually learned a lot of this from watching Shy Lily. 
she's really inspiring and you know i feel like that old friend group and any other Shiley haters out there just don't like Shiley because, well, Shiley is an amazing voice actor and I think they're just all a bunch of jealous sussy bakas. <sighs> you know, it always bothered me whenever my friends would send me a Shiley clip making fun of her and my response would always be like, well, clearly people like this for a reason, right? And then like this other person would get all passive aggressive and be like, yeah, well, that's only because she's like big and whatever. Like... You don't have to like everything that a creator does and you don't have to agree with everything that they do but you should give someone a chance before just making assumptions and automatically hating them for no reason like learn to love your fellow creators instead of being a stinky baka i'm just so tired of all of this unnecessary hostility towards her and other vtubers because so many people think she's overhyped and they can't figure out why everyone loves her but here's the thing if you're not willing to put in the time to understand why people may or may not like a certain content creator or why this type of content is working, then I think you should reflect on that and think about why you feel like this and then see what you can inspire from that particular creator or this type of content. Because regardless if this is your niche or not, you can literally learn so many different valuable things from just simply observing and figuring out what's working and what's not. And also learn to cut the negative people out of your life. Like seriously, it's not doing you any favors. Like it took me a really long time to figure out that negativity always brews more negativity. And as I've gotten older, I've realized that the only thing holding me back is my own negative thoughts and the reason why i constantly have these negative thoughts is because of my influences and the content that i was consuming so yeah if i'm constantly being told by my friends that oh yeah shyly sucks and they send and i see like a shyly clip then yeah of course i'm gonna think it sucks because i'm already like being poisoned by this preconceived notion that her content is bad when in reality it's not bad i wish someone told me four years ago that the people you surround yourself with are going to be the reason why you either become successful or not later on in life because having such a bad and negative influence like that made it difficult for me to want to try to make my own reaction content or try other avenues of content creation because I felt like I was constantly being judged. Like I had several collab opportunities that I didn't end up going through with because my friends at the time didn't like them and ever since I started distancing myself from these negative influences, my life has just gotten so much better. Like I started attracting people who actually support me and now I really enjoy making content again on this channel. I break down a lot of various VTuber concepts, editing styles, and art on my Patreon and what I have learned about studying Shy Lily is that um, reaction content actually does take some acting skills, believe it or not, and I kind of want to make some reaction content on this channel, but, uh, I don't exactly know how to go about it just yet, because if I were to react to something, it probably would be, you know, VTuber debuts, clips, or some kind of VTuber video essay, like, I don't know. I guess, you know, let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments, because I think reaction content could do really well for VTubers, but... A lot of them don't really know how to actually make good reaction content and I'd be happy to break down more of Shiley's content or other VTuber reaction content and explain what makes it so successful if you're interested in that. But at the end of the day, you know, if you really just want to be salty and angry, then like, I, I don't know what else to tell you. Like sometimes some people are just more likable than others. And I feel like we should be more encouraging rather than being more jealous and being like, why me? Instead, you should probably think that's really awesome. Okay, that motivates me to want to find my own thing. And with that, thank you so much for watching. And remember, everything reminds you of something. You know, Charlie has such a cute catchphrase. I wonder what my cute little catchphrase should be. Is Sassy Baka a cute catchphrase?